Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee, and having successfully recovered my first jukebox disc, or record, for those of you who are old enough to remember that we have a word for that, I am about to go and grab a whole bunch of stone out of the crazy pyramid. What is it going on? Okay. No. They're falling out of the tree up there, aren't they? Oh, okay. Why can't I control my character? I, like, my fingers were on the wrong keys or something. Okay. Sorry, I was kind of freaking out. Okay, no more freaking out. Everybody's calm. So, anyway, I am going to recover a whole bunch of stone bricks from inside of there. And then I'm going to use said stone to bridge out that way and get a whole bunch of sand. Because sand is crucial for glass making. And if I had a whole bunch of awesome glass, that would allow me to build a sweet base at the Victory Monument. Additionally, I need to try and find a rail chest somewhere inside of here so that I can make a sweet train line because, oh my goodness, this map is freaking huge and I am just overwhelmed by the lack of train building materials that I've seen so far. So I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit, equip up, and adventure. Time skip. Let's poke around this thing a little bit more. This is... I'm really not sure what to make of this thing exactly, but I'm wondering if there's more to it that I might have missed somehow. Although it does appear to pretty much just be this big, stupid obsidian thing. Whoa. Wondering if there's anything over top. I probably should not have done that. Is there something inside of it, maybe? No, lava. Lava's inside of it. Okay, next question. Okay, so we are at the end of this hallway here. I haven't explored this all the way fully. Largely because it's got that stupid climbing part there that I'm not too keen on. I also hear a whole bunch of Endermen, which may be directly above or below me. But let's go ahead and uh, start climbing up this thing. Oh, that's such a waste of a good sword. Tell me I've got enough bricks. Good. All these Enderman noises are making me super paranoid. As they will should, apparently, because... That's a creeper. And a bunch of Endermen. What the heck is back there? See if we can poke around and get an idea. Really? What the heck is back in here? Did I look at him? Okay, so we've got several, several creepers, several endermen there. One of the endermen may or may not be mad at me. Hmm. Well, this does not bode well in terms of survivability. Let's see if we can figure out what's back in here, though, through uh, circumnavigation. Hopefully a rail chest, if I am not too unlucky. Whoa, there they are again. I should have been anticipating that a bit, I think. Well, that's... Okay, so whatever that is, it's a big room with a bunch of creepers and endermen and no visible prize. It's huge. It looks like it goes back around this way. So, if we could at least disable the spawners, that would give us some edge. Although, really, it seems like the best thing to do would be... Just 
Let's see, so that comes around here. Really, he can survive being on fire like that? I'm hitting your feet. No, I'm not. And that's an Enderman, of course. Great. Hmm. Crap. Did I see one of them? Yeah, I think that one's agitated. How many hits with this sword does it take? Not that many. Huh. And there's two ender pearls right there. That is sorely tempting. I do like ender pearls. I think I'm gonna try and get those. Did I get him? Looks like the creepers are spawned out. Whoa, giant spawner in the middle. What the heck is this room even do? It's like a giant spawning excitement fest. Maybe I'm supposed to get up there. That is what I will do. I now have a mission that is partially compromised by my lack of lighting. I'm burning my last torch, possibly, to get up here. Although, fortunately, or more like torchunately, I can do that. Although that is going to burn all those torches I just dropped. Well, should have thought of that better when I did it. Whatever. Too late now. In the very least, it'll illuminate the room and let me know where stuff is. Uh-oh. Running low on pick. That does not bode well for me. I need my pick. Especially because at this point, the uh, way that I would get down involves using said pick. Like, that's my escape pick. Crap. I guess I could always build a stairwell down slowly over time. But... And, of course, there's a million monsters around now as well. I hear you monsters, and I'm not at all pleased. You have my tacit disapproval. And skeletonizations. Okay, so there's glass there, and I think there's stuff behind it shooting arrows. Okay, so no part of that is good. Every part of this is now worse. How am I going to get out of this? Answer. Not. 